Saturday, everyone. Hello and welcome to another broadcast of Project 365, where we aim to bring uh, hope, encouragement, and inspiration around the entire world. My name is Takira Swan, and I'll be your host this Saturday. And as you know, we dedicate Saturdays to the voice of the next generation, and we have a wonderful guest for you today. But before I get started, I want to bring in my co-host, Miss Erin Wilson-Tucker. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hope everyone is doing good on this awesome, awesome Saturday. Hopefully everyone's getting outside, being safe. But we have a special, special, special treat for you today. Miss Zion Robinson is here with us today, and she is going to share what's on her heart. Zion is a 16 year old, sweet 16. She goes to um, what I think is George Washington Carver's uh, school. It's in, Taos it's in Towson and her trade is carpentry and she plays volleyball. Zion is so athletic, outgoing. Like she does a whole bunch of stuff. She is so committed and she puts her all in with everything that she does and it doesn't go lacking at all so i am releasing the platform over to zion zion how are you i'm doing really well i hope you are too um thank you. thank you thank you so much for giving me a chance to speak here um yeah it's i'm very grateful very blessed for it so um like aaron said i'm in quite a few things and it takes a lot of commitment and dedication. So I decided that I kind of want to share a couple of things that just helped me stay myself throughout all those things. So the first one is motivation and discipline. So motivation is like wonderful. It's the first thing I try to go to, the first thing I try to get, um, try to find reasons to stay motivated to go to practice, stay motivated to do my homework. But to be honest, I don't always want to do it. I don't always want to go because that, that's a lot. Um, but when I don't, I try to instill as much discipline as I can. So for the days when my motivation is lacking, I can rely on the discipline that I've built. Um, this I really learned, um, when was this? I think I was 11. So I've been a student athlete all my life. I started in gymnastics when I was three. I was competitive by the age of six and I've been doing competitive sports since then. Um, there was a period where I hurt myself and I had to stop, um, not in my will, of course, but I had to stop. Um, and ev my self-esteem dropped, my grades dropped, like everything dropped because I was no longer motivated to do anything. So it really forced me to pick up the pace, crack down on myself and, you know, stay in the zone, which brings me to my next point. When I was cracking down on myself, I really learned how to self-analyze and see in myself what was really there instead of what I wanted to see or what I thought I was seeing and all that. So it's been really helpful. I, especially during like really hard times, um, I would have to like give myself a list of questions to ask myself every day to make sure I stayed in check. Um, so yeah, um, that goes along with discipline as well because you, know, you have to do it every day and you don't still don't always want to. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So at the moment, I am a dual sport athlete. And like Aaron said, my, I'm in an art school and my trade is carpentry, so it is a lot of work. Um, and how I have tried my hardest to keep God first in my life is compartmentalization to a certain degree. So this has been more of realizing or separating who I am from what I am. And it's really, really helped me. Um, so I'm trying, sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to put this in the best words possible. Um, but it's, it's okay, take your time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so I realized that I, what I am is an athlete, a student, um, and you know anything that goes along those borders, things that you do. Who I am is a child of God, a loving person, like all, all those good qualities that you possess. So separating those two things helped me focus on when I needed to focus more on the Lord, when I needed to focus on my studies, when I needed to focus on athletics, and at times how those fit together. Um, so yeah, not 
not blurring the lines too much to where your athletics is a part of your Christianity or your Christianity is part of da 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 just really helps stay focused on what the Lord is really saying to you, what you really need to hear, what you really need to do, what you really need to see, things like that. Um, and I'm sorry, I, I'm not the type to talk too much, so I'm pretty much almost done. Um, <laughs> You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Thank you. So the last thing I really have to say is the one of the scriptures that has like kept me through, brought me, is First John four and eighteen. Um, in the scripture, I'll, here I'll bring it up. I don't know why I didn't write it down, but the scriptures' um, main message is perfect love drives out fear. And I know self love has been a topic here before, um, but like everything I pretty much said is a form of self love. It's not the kind that feels good all the time, but it's cracking down on yourself, making sure you're doing what you need to do. Um, and it helps with the days that you feel scared, the days that you don't want to do it. Um, sorry, my phone's like acting creepy and all, all those things. Um, so yeah, the scripture says there is no fear in love, but perfect love dries out fear because fear has nothing to do with punishment has to do because fear has to do with punishment. Sorry. Um, so yeah, just learning learning how to love myself that way has really helped push me through athletics, both of them, Christianity, school, all of it. So yeah. Well, I can honestly say that, you know, you're only a 16, but you are so, so like wise beyond your years. You really yes. are. <laughs> you're doing a great job. Um, and you really have a lot that you are taking on. So I do have a question for you. Um, the number one uh, point you gave was about motivation and self-discipline, which a lot of times is really hard for, you know, for everyone, but especially mm -hmm. for, you know, people your age. And even like into your like late twenties, I'm telling you, when you get in college, you're like, yeah. right, right, <laughs> early twenties, late twenties, you're like, nah, we don't feel like doing this. So, like what this. can you tell people? Um, like, how is a what is a way that uh, someone can try to be more disciplined, um, like you? Um, one thing that I found out worked. I don't know how it works for other people, but for me, it worked really well. So, if there's a day that I'm feeling really motivated, just like getting it all done. I'll come up with a plan. Like, this is something I want to do every morning, or this is something I want to do every night because I feel motivated. And on the days I don't, I remember what it was like to feel that motivation and keep the discipline to do it. I don't know how much that helps, but that's just- No, I mean. that does help a no, lot. Actually, <laughs> a lot, because I think I um, I did that the other night. Like, I was just having like, you know, a panic attack because, oh my goodness, I got a lot of stuff. I'm trying to graduate. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. And I was like, okay, I need to get motivated. I need to get disciplined. I need to get motivated. I need to get disciplined. I need to do this. And I made a to-do list and I got majority of my to-do list done. And just like the other day, I wasn't feeling, I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't do it. And I did. I like, oh my goodness, look at this list that I accomplished. Let me try to go back and let me do it. So that is, that is a good strategy. I, I'm glad that you said that. And to add to that, another thing that I noticed, at least for me, when I put everything on one list, it overwhelms me and I don't want to do any of it. So like, mm -hmm. If I break it up, this is what I'm going to do this day. This is what I'm going to do this day. This is what I'm going to do that day. It's much easier to look at it and say, I can do this today. So, yeah. I think that's a really, really great that's tip that everyone can utilize. Because I do understand how it is to have a to-do list that's like a page and a half long. You just look at it like, I do not feel like doing this. <laughs> So listen to what Zion is saying, guys. You know, if you have tasks and things that you need to complete, it'll be better to section them off, you know, by day or maybe by due date so that you can organize yourself. Um, and I really liked what you said about separating, you know, who you are from, um, I believe you said like what you do from who you are or you said it way, way better than I can to recap, but, you know, I really like the way you said that, you know, and keeping God first, do you have any suggestions or tips for young people who may be believers or, you know, even non-believers of how they can stay strong in their faith or how they can separate, you know, what they do, you know, from who they really are and who they're supposed to be? Um, yeah, I do. So one of the things that really helped me is it's not a good, it's not a good one of my traits, but I don't like being told how to do things. So I really wanted to keep God first in my life and find a way to like practice it. So I found a way to do it where I figured out how to do it. Like 
I said how I was going to do it. I said what I was going to do and help me because it was genuinely coming from me. Um, and that's helped to guide very much who I am, like the type of person I want to be, the type of person I'm growing into, the type of person I want to become. Um, and then, like I said, those self checks, making sure you're still on the right track to who you want to become and um, what you are is really just goal setting. I know everybody says it, but it's really important um, set measurable goals, reasonable goals, and every time you meet them, it helps set another one. So even when you um, meet those goals, celebrate yourself. Be like, yay, I, I did it. You know, give yourself a treat. You know, go take yourself out on a more dare. You know, so what is your favorite scripture? I actually used it. The um, first John 4 and 18 has definitely been my favorite for a while. So, no, yeah. why Why is that? Like, oh, being, why is my favorite? Yeah, be a little oh. bit more. <laughs> you know, um, the teacher in me, explanation. Yes, yes. <laughs> Um, I've always been a person who doesn't like to be afraid. Um, if you tell me to do something and it seems fun, I'm going to want to do it, but scared or not. So it's always, and I always try to be very loving, very accepting, um, come from a very loving household, things like that. So I feel like it really summed up who, where I, what my core is derived around. The love in me drives out the fear in me. The love around me will drive out the fear. Um, and it's always something that I go back to when I'm doing self-checks. Like, am I being loving? Am I being fearful? Like, things like that. Now, um, I want to talk about your school schedule and you being in a competitive. Like, how does that, how, how do you find time to, you know, still maintain those A's and B's, but you're traveling here and where? Everywhere. So, I think the best thing to do is take you through a typical week in my life for the last month. So because of COVID, our school volleyball season got pushed to spring, and I still had my club season on top of it, and I have out, outside, outside things that help, help keep me in shape, but I still needed to maintain the grades. Mm -hmm. So I would say Monday, I would have school, and then a practice at 3.30 to 5.30, and then I would go straight to a practice that was 7.30 to 9.30, and then I would come home, and then... I would do as much homework, well, pretty much all the homework I got that day or whatever I had planned to do that day and then go to bed. But because I was going to bed so late because I was getting home so late, I would have to take a nap between school and when I had to leave for practice. Um, so just realize knowing when I needed sleep and when I could fit it in or like when I can fit this little thing in really helped. Um, and then on Tuesdays, I would have a game or and occasionally weightlifting before the game. Um, and of course school before that. Um, and on days like that, I might not be able to take a nap or I might just have to push through and get all my work done. On Wednesdays, I would probably have two practices again, one from 3.30 to 5.30, another from eight to 10, get home, shower, do my homework and get in bed as soon as possible. Um, on Thursday, I, would, I think I'd have, yeah, I would have another game on Thursday. So that was all I had on Thursday. So I was really able to crack down, get my homework done see if I catch on sleep, things like that. On Fridays, I only had one practice. So it was also another day where I was like, let's figure this out. What can I really get done? Um, Saturday mornings, I normally have like an eight or a 7 a.m. lift. And then that day's free. So that day, I normally tried not to do so much work. So it didn't feel like my life was just work, 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 work. Mm -hmm. um, like call a couple friends, see who can hang out, um, being safe, of course. Um, corona. Um, <laughs> and then on Sundays, um, on Sundays, I would have another practice. So doing, managing everything throughout the week, like breaking it up helped. When it got hard was when I had those three-day tournaments or those out-of-town tournaments where I would have to tell all my teachers, I'm going to be gone. Can I get all the work I can right now? And then try and do as much on the front end and then try and do as much on the back end until I got caught up. Um, so it's, for me, it was really just about finding out how to use what time I have, time management. So, yeah, yeah it, listen, it is, that time management is a, is a key tool to like use, because even when you get to college, I mean, I'm in college, you will have to make sure that you are disciplined and use those time management skills 
you know, in college to help you balance. Okay, if you want to do a full-time job, but you also want to do a full-time student, but you're also full-time active in church, you know, when you're doing all this stuff. So yeah, it is, you know, good. And I'm so glad that you have these skills now and that your parents even provided you with these skills now because there are, you know, teenagers your age right now who, who don't know how to discipline, self-discipline themselves and how to time manage. And I'm glad that your parents provided those things for you because now when you look on going into young adulthood you will be definitely prepared on oh I got to do this first before I do this before I can go have fun I know I got to get my stuff done so that's awesome one buddy you got anything you want to add real quick yes before we close I just wanted to say um just to touch on two things that you said um, like Aaron said that self-discipline is so so important and we are so happy that you know you have basically mastered and you're you're mastering this skill at such a young age but for, yeah. for anyone who's watching um who's older younger no matter what age you are if let's say you're not as disciplined as Zion is it's okay mm -hmm. you can get started with this self-discipline you know at any time and one thing I just want to um really encourage like our our youth and you know early uh, young adults even some late adults, you know, what I've learned, fun will always be there. So if you just go ahead and set up your, set yourself up for success now, get that self-discipline down, um, but still make time for yourself like Zion does, like she gets all her stuff in and then she goes and has some fun with her friends or, you know, takes a nap. Naps are very, very important. Very Trust me, if you don't nap now, you're going to want to nap later. <laughs> I listen, I listen, I just have preschool friends all the time hey babe come on let's take a nap you're gonna need it when you get miss Aaron's age yes really I'm telling you 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 really uh you really appreciate those naps you had when you were younger but if you just go ahead and just set yourself up set a schedule up you know track mm -hmm. your goals set realistic goals and set that yourself up for great time management skills then you have plenty of time to have fun with your friends or do whatever you want with your family or travel or you know extracurricular activities so just go ahead and go ahead and do those things that Zion has said today and another thing I wanted to um touch on is that you said from you know from your favorite scripture um one thing that you were saying was how you know even if you're afraid you just do it anyway and I absolutely love that because sometimes if you're starting new things or you're trying to you know accomplish goals it can be scary you know but you still did it anyway. So I just want to encourage everyone just to push through, you know, because you're going to have such a great reward at the end. And Zion is such a great example. Um, so Zion, we want to thank you so much for coming on our broadcast today. You did an amazing job. Amazing, girl. amazing. You're amazing awesome. job. <laughs> so Aaron, go ahead and close us out. Yes, again, again, Zion, we'd like to thank you. We'd also like to thank your parents, um, Miss Angel and Mr. Todd, you know, for allowing you to be in this space with us, you know, so you can share. We, we greatly, we greatly, greatly appreciate it. And for everyone who is with us watching, please make sure that you comment. Please make sure that you like. Also, make sure you share and also on our YouTube page, please make sure that you subscribe to Project 365. We will be posting, we'll be uploading on YouTube and Facebook every day at one o'clock. And tomorrow, tomorrow at one o'clock, we will be right here back again, spreading hope, encouragement and inspiration to the world and again we love you guys we thank you for tuning in with us almost every saturday we still got more and upcoming guests for you guys so thank you have a good day stay safe wear your mask stay social distancing have fun do your work first and have fun later <laughs> see you later guys see you later everyone <laughs>